victory. The last from Rodionov. The rest of the World Cup opposition gone. Next to feel the Russian heat are France. And with one of the best shots of the finals, Rats puts Russia ahead. France stay calm and draw 1-1. One, one. When in the quarter-final against Belgium, Belenov rasps the opening goal, Russia surely can't be checked. The illusion lasts barely an hour. Though Belenov scores again, Belgium stormed through 4-3 in extra time. Denmark are in their first ever World Cup final. Elkia and Laudrup have stamped Denmark's class on the European Championship. Now Laudrup sends Elkia clear to begin the route of Uruguay. Soon Lerby and Elkia carve the opening for the second by Lerby. Uruguay, cynical and violent, had Fossio sent off. The ten men are laid bare by Denmark's flashing coordination. Laudrup dribbles through for the third. Elkia, almost as he pleases, slices through the defense for the fifth. Seal Uruguay's humiliation, Jesper Olsen stabs home the six. France, led by the gifted Platini, are expected to win their second round against despondent, listless Italy. And do. Italy, at the end of Enzo Biersot's reign, suffer their first defeat by France for 50 years. Chiganar's run makes a decisive second goal for Stopira. In the cauldron of Guadalajara, the quarter-final between France and Brazil is one of the most gripping contests ever seen. The chess moves of thrust and counter-thrust are intense. Gareca strikes first for Brazil after 17 minutes. The elegance of Platini, Tigana and Gires contrasts with the improvisation of Brazil. Slowly, France takes command. Gires and Rocheteau open the way. Platini casually strokes the equaliser and after torrid, goalless extra time, France win on penalties. In 1982, Brian Robson scored the fastest goal in World Cup history against France, but lack of goals retarded their advance. England face Paraguay. Lineker has rescued their hopes with a hat-trick against Poland, and now he snatches the first against Paraguay. Paraguay, moderate opposition, are no match for England in this move. Gary Stevens creates the chance for Lineker to make it 3-0, and become the tournament's leading scorer so far with five goals. England must meet Argentina in the quarter-final. Argentina have not played Uruguay in the World Cup since the initial tournament in 1930 when Uruguay won. 
Now Maradona initiates the move which settles the score. He creates the winning goal for Pasquale. Maradona's game is emotionally highly strung. And it seems he has scored a legitimate goal in the second half. He realizes the referee has disallowed it. Team manager Bilardo is speechless. Maradona believes he has been cheated again. on his side in the quarter-final against England. The sporting world is aghast. If the referee didn't see it, there's no future in England moaning. Four minutes later, there can be no protest when Maradona scores a goal of breathtaking genius. Taking on and leaving stranded five defenders, he flicks the greatest of goals. In a few fleeting seconds, the World Cup witnesses the darting, muscular, uncontainable quality which makes the outstanding player of a generation. experienced the same anesthetizing sensation in the semi-final. The demonic little man runs through the defensive ranks and none can halt him. Maradona and Argentina are set for triumph against West Germany. But Germany have proved before that predictions can fail. No one remembers better than manager Beckenbauer, their captain 12 years ago. Against Holland in 1974, Germany shrug aside adversity. Breitner, from the penalty spot, equalizes Holland's only goal. The Dutch fantasy dissolves before their own eyes. The Germans seize their chance. Bonhoff breaks free on the right. The remarkable Muller twists to hook a shot from behind him. And Germany, not Holland, have won the World Cup. No one is quite sure how Germany, led by Rummenigge, have gone so far in 86. In the semi-final, the French were exhausted after the classic against Brazil and crumpled. Can the Germans confound the form? The free kick by Burushaga after 23 minutes curls into the penalty area and centre-half Brown leaps to head past the hesitant Schumacher. The passes of Maradona and Enrique cut open Germany's right flank. And Voldano tellingly exploits Schumacher's clumsy challenge. Argentina feel their hands on the cup. Beckenbauer exhorts from the bench. A corner. Confusion in the Argentina goal mouth. Rumenega lunges to narrow the lead. Argentina's nerve, with Brown injured, seems to falter. Only 
eight minutes remaining when Germany equalized. Berthold heads downward from a corner. And Voller steers the ball between Pumpido's arms. The match is level. In the face of such a stinging setback, Argentina's response takes only three minutes. Maradona's fearless pass and Burushaga free. And he strikes the ball beneath the hapless Schumacher.